the problem with Cheryl Soups is Cheryl Soups changes her stance. She changes the, the she changes the discussion. She doesn't actually stick to what she said. And she's sitting here saying that she gave an opinion. And I'm going to repeat once again. I don't care what your opinion is. If your opinion is that you don't think she's going to be a great player in the WNBA immediately, immediately out of college, that's perfectly fine. I have no reason to have, I have no issue with that because the fact of the matter is I don't think anyone's been sitting here saying she's going to be dominant the second she walks out. But she's, but Cheryl is creating this narrative that media is pushing that Caitlin Clark's going to be a star immediately out of high, out of college. I haven't heard anyone say that, and I watch women's basketball, so I don't know who's saying that. Will she be have an impact immediately? Absolutely. To sit here and say she won't is disingenuous. The woman has range from the parking lot. She's going to end up on a team that needs someone to put the ball in the hole. More than likely, the Indiana Fever, and she's going to be teamed up with a couple of really good young players, Leah Boston and Kelsey Mitchell, and they're going to have one hell of a threesome right there. Well, trio, and you're she's going to have open looks, and she's going to she's going to take and she's going to make them. So to sit here and say that she won't have an impact, she's going to have an impact. Now, that doesn't make her a bust if she's not as good as some people might think. I think she'll be a good WNBA player. Do I think she'll be a great one? I don't know. I honestly don't care. But when you change the narrative and you change the argument and talk about stuff like, well, you know, you know, the breaking the record, mind you, she still has not said the, this, the, she has not said this. Congratulations, Caitlin Clark on breaking the, the, the women's scoring record. She hasn't said it yet. She didn't say it after she broke it. She hasn't said it after she, after she broke Lynette Woodard's. Uh, record, and I'm sure she's not going to say it today after Caitlin Clark broke Pete Maravich's number. Now, it becomes really aggravating to listen to this type of it's it's it is hate. You can sit here and say what you want, whatever the hate is. It's a there's a hate involved in this. There's a dislike. It, 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 something something there is something that Cheryl Soups has an issue with when it comes to Caitlin Clark. It's clear. It's absolutely clear. Even to the point where she says, I had a great conversation on the phone with Angel Reese, but I didn't have Caitlin Clark's phone number. So I had a D we were DMing a great conversation on Twitter. Oh, I don't know what, 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 I don't know how that's a conversation. You're texting each other. So why in that Twitter conversation, did you not ask Caitlin for her phone number so that you could call her? Like, get out of here. I, I don't know. So. All these things are being said, and now it's brought up that, oh, she broke the record, but is it really the record? Because, you know, Lynette Woodard has the record from Kansas. Guess what, Cheryl? I hate to break this to you, but the AIWA, AIWA, I think that's what it is, the AIWA is a separate organization. This is an NCAA record. Stop trying to change the story. It's an NCAA record. And the AIWA is a different organization, the one that preceded um, the NCAA having women's basketball. But look, guess what? Why didn't you say that when you were talking about Kelsey Plum? You didn't. You didn't bring that up. You mentioned nothing of it. And now that's your new stance. Now it's, she didn't really break the record. Well, guess what? She did break the record. She broke it after you recorded that nonsense. And now she has that record too. So are you okay? Or are you still? Or is it now that you're going to bring up Pearl Moore? I'm, I'm guessing that's your next one, is that she hasn't broken Pearl Moore's number from Francis Marion College. Just for those of you who don't know, most people had no idea who Pearl Moore is. I had no idea who she was. But uh, you know what? It took a simple Google search, and I looked her up, and I learned a little bit, and I educated, and I educated myself. Pearl Moore had the record from Francis Marion. Francis Marion is the, is the equivalent to a Division II school. And when they had the AI, AIWA, they were on the equivalent of the Division II AIWA program. So for people to even consider a Division II level record as the same as a Division I record, y'all can miss me with that garbage because it's just ridiculous. She has a Division II level record. Congratulations. That record will live on in perpetuity. There's someone else who scored like 4,000 points at another Division II level program, I think going on this year right now. 
Congratulations. Well, let's not act like Division II basketball players are competing with Division I ball players. They're not. They're not. Otherwise, they'd be in playing Division I ball. Division II players aren't transferring to Division I programs right now. So let's let's stop trying to minimize. It's just stop trying to minimize what this young woman's accomplished. 